Hello everyone, this is the Tut Kid, and we're going to be continuing with our Web Development 3. Um, as you can see, this is what we made last time, and I'm going to start with um, styling these, so we can learn we can learn how to do the styling and um, learn at the same time. So, um, this is how we're going to set up. We're going to set up, it's called CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheet. Styling means we edit the properties of this, of any of these, by, we can change the color, the line height, which line height is the space in between uh, for this one and the, the first header and the second header, or the second header, third header, third header, fourth header, uh, etc. We can do anything, basically. We can add underlines, bold it, etc., etc., etc. Okay, so what we need to do, we first need to create our style tags, which are, as you can get, and also what we need to do is put type. We need to tell what type it is. And that is, well here, you can use either quotations, I'm used to using the other one, but we're going to use these. Text slash CSS. That tells the browser, hey, this is CSS. So, okay, now we're going to end it with our ending tag, which is style. And that is what you get. Now we're going to put it in between this. And let's first change header 1. So we're going to type in header 1. And then we're going to do curly brackets, beginning and end. Now let's say we want to change the color to red. How would we do that? Well, all you have to do is type in color. And then you have to do... Uh, a comma, a little bit, no, a colon, and then you type in red. It's easy as that. Now, when you're finished with what you're wanting to type the first one, so once we're done with color red, we put a semicolon saying that's the end. Okay? So if we save that and bring this back up and press and refresh, you see that this has turned red. Now, what if we wanted to make the second one blue? How would we do that? All we do is color blue. If we save this, bring this up, you've got blue. Uh, header three, let's say we wanted orange. Same thing. Oops, did I type orange wrong? Hmm. Ah, colon. Ah, I'm very, very tired, obviously. Okay, so let's say this. Now that's what that's just a telling showing you that anything can go wrong. Just one little thing mistake can ruin a whole web page. Um, what about paragraph? Do you think if we changed if we want to change the color, would we change anything different? Um, no, we have to declare what we're doing still, so paragraph and color and let's do green there you go and that is all I'm going to show you today those are um, there are many preset colors we'll get into more advanced colors in the next tutorial um, so yeah thanks for viewing this, uh, this one um, hopefully we get to this next one very soon thank you bye